Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. I've got a story out of China and it is about the Evergrande disaster that's going on literally right before our eyes. We've been reporting on this for about four months, five months. It's getting worse. And today it's about them being ordered to destroy some of their buildings. Now, I believe honestly a lot of this is fluff. We're going to dig down to it because it does show you a little bit why. But this ties into the CMBS, the commercial mortgage-backed securities uh, issue that I was started reporting on in the beginning of August. I think it's going to become a much bigger deal, but we have to wade through the crap, honestly. Okay, so here we go. This is out of Reuters. I'm going to link the story below, but again, I'm just going to lightly go over it. Uh, it says uh, Evergrande gets building demolition order and the shares uh, share trading was halted this morning or actually when they're during their trading session. It's already over. Uh, it says that they must be be they were ordered to bring down 39 buildings on Hanayan Island. If I got that right, uh, it says debt laden Evergrande deems uh, in cross default shares trading were halted in the expectation of inside information. Um, so it says right here, let's go, we're just going to skip through a bunch of this crap. It says it received an order on Monday from authorities, uh, to demolish 39 under construction projects at Ocean Flower Island Project. Okay. So again, these are under construction, so we don't know. And I'm sure pretty soon we're going to find out how, uh, in depth they are with their, their construction but first I want to explain they are having a hard time even paying their employees at this point okay but it says right here uh, it did not disclose the reason for the demolition order well of course it didn't because it says down here that um, local media reported earlier the buildings which stretched over 435,000 square meters needed to be demolished within 10 days for illegal construction and environmental violations and I want to bring light to this right now I was talking about uh, one of the issues with commercial mortgage-backed securities and how everybody is going to be and back then in August I said by January everyone's gonna know about it and know what it is just like you know nobody knew what mortgage-backed securities were back in 2005 when I was freaking out about them and and how gnarly they were and you know all the lies you know that were being thrown out there about how secure they were well I thought that by January everyone would know about commercial mortgage-backed securities but obviously they don't uh, people have no clue what they are and they're seated in everybody's pension funds all around the world and there's a lot of fraud inside of them and one of the things uh, and there's a whistleblower case going on right now in America about commercial mortgage-backed securities and one of the things is they talk about how they underreport the um, how far along the construction process is they mislead investors into thinking that the 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 buildings are something that they aren't uh, they misrepresent uh, rents things like that and essentially we have the exact same thing as we did in 2005 but on a much bigger scale commercial mortgage-backed securities are now so much larger than the MBS market in 2005 um, it says here, uh, it told the project's homeowners that it had spent 81 billion yuan, which equals about $13 billion, in the past six years to build over 60,000 homes, and the de de demolition order would not affect the rest of the development. Uh, it says, Ocean Flower Island is a mega resort development compromising, uh, comprising of theme parks, convention centers, and hotels. Now, the inside information that everyone's talking about. Evergrande shares were suspended from trading earlier on Monday, pending the release of, quote-unquote, insider information. It said in a Hong Kong stock exchange filing without elaborating. Very interesting. Now, the developer missed new coupon payments worth $255 million, which were due last Tuesday, uh, though both have had a 30-day uh, grace period. As the list of Evergrande's unpaid creditors and suppliers continue to grow, the firm has set up a risk management committee with many members from state companies and said it would actively engage with its creditors. I want to explain this as clear as possible. This is a runaway train at this point, and I do believe it's going to get worse. Just the fact that Evergrande started this problem, what, a, five months ago? We really started to see it in the news. It is now spread to multiple large Chinese real estate development firms and is taking them out as well. 
the contagion is going to be deep and it's going to be wide and it's going to be all over the world. Evergrande bonds are owned or held by many institutions around the world. Now, this isn't a panic moment. Is this a Lehman Brothers moment? I do believe it is the uh, it is not the Lehman Brothers moment. When you look at the grand scheme of things, what happened with the real estate industry from 2005 to 2008, I believe that Evergrande represents the Bear Stearns moment. Bear Stearns being the large, um, uh, I'm blanking out right now, the Bear Stearns was around forever, and they were taken out in the spring of 2008, and they were an investment firm, uh, and they absolutely were annihilated. And what blows me away is it was it went really underreported. Really, it was like a lot of blame was thrown that they screwed things up, but they didn't. Nobody, you know, throwing blame at Bear Stearns understood that this was a systemic issue. That it was a much bigger issue. Uh, the reason why Bear Stearns went under. And so I believe that Evergrande is sitting in the gap right now for Bear Stearns and that we are just waiting for the big one. Um, hey, you never know. Evergrande might be so big of a Bear Stearns moment. It might, you never know. We might see BlackRock taken out. I'm going to leave you as that one and let the, the comment section go crazy because, quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised. With that being said, I hope you guys got something out of this. Thank you so much for the likes, the, the new subscribers. You're awesome. The Economic Ninja is out.